Hey friends, Andrew here, hope you're well. Today I wanna to show you a bunch of different projectors and specifically portable laser projectors that I think make for such an easy way to create a cinematic experience just about anywhere around the home or office space. And over the last few months, I've been building my new office and studio setup. It's been such an enjoyable space to be productive in and also lounge around, kick back and enjoy some games, movies and shows even while working. So I'll show you this new setup, all the brand new projectors I've been testing out over the previous few weeks and months. I'll compare them to each other and I'll let you know why switching to laser projectors could be possibly one of the best cinematic experiences you can get on a budget. I have four different portable projectors I'm gonna show you today. Two LED projectors, BenQ's GS50 and XGMI's Horizon Pro 4K and then two laser projectors, the Nebula's Capsule 3 and Cosmos Laser 4K. And Nebula has kindly sent me these two projectors. I bought the other two myself and as always, my opinions are always my own. They're all portable projectors, so we can reposition them really easily and even take them on road trips and parties for that big cinema experience, no matter where you are, which is super cool. And so the first thing I've noticed when turning all these projectors on is just how much deeper the blacks are on laser projectors. They look closer to true blacks far more than the LED projector counterparts. That being said, they are not true blacks. Uh, they do still look like, you know, they're slightly washed out. But the deeper blacks, are thanks to the fact that laser projectors don't emit light on black sections, whereas LED projectors need to project light onto the entire screen space. So the blacks will never be as dark as it is on laser. So in some ways it is similar to OLED display panels in that no light is emitted within the black color. The second thing that I've been really enjoying when it comes to laser projectors is its brightness. LED projectors main drawback is its limited light output. You'll struggle to find an LED projector that's brighter than a laser projector in lumens in a similar price range. And the lumen rating is a crucial part of projectors because the lumen rating will determine how washed out the colors are and if you're still able to use it in direct sunlight, which is pretty important if you want this projector to replace your TV and to use it during the day which is definitely a possibility when it comes to laser projectors. But to give LED projectors some love, and to be fair, they do have the benefit of emitting less heat, and it usually uses less electricity, and overall are typically more affordable. And here's what I found by comparing these four projectors across TV shows, movies, apps, and gaming. Before we take a look at the gigantic projectors, let's compare the ultra portable LED BenQ GS50 and the similarly priced and sized laser projector Nebula Capsule 3. Looking at the specs, the BenQ GS50 and Nebula Capsule 3 are both really similar on paper. They're both 1080p Full HD projectors, have a similar throw distance of 120 by one. Both come with speakers and Android TV installed for easy access to a ton of popular apps, movies, and shows. They're also both similarly priced at the $800 range. The main differences are in its physical design and its laser and LED differences, which are pretty significant. Let's talk about BenQ's projector first, the GS50 and its styling, because I think it really has a stylish design that resembles more a camping item than an LED projector. Its design includes green rubberized panels, orange accents, and a faux leather handle, which is just rubber by the way, uh, but it's pretty decent looking overall. As outdoorsy as it may look though, it's only splash proof. So if it's raining outside, you want to run back inside with it. It does come with a zippered nylon case for easy travel though. The actual build quality feels a bit meh with its plasticky rubbery feel. It projects up to 100 inches in screen size, which is definitely big enough for any outdoor or portable use. But because it's only rated 500 lumens in brightness, going up to the max 100 inch size, you'll lose contrast and brightness. Bringing it back down to about 60 to 80 inches seemed like a happy medium between size and contrast for this particular LED projector. And then on the other hand, if the BenQ GS50 is a large lunchbox at five pounds, the Nebula's Capsule 3 is a much more compact two pound Coke can. 
It's less outdoorsy and more modern, portable and sleek. It's nicely rounded and has modern red accents. This design I really like. It looks more at home in a modern setup than the BenQ GS50, but hey, you might prefer the green and orange colorway on the GS50. So the Capsule 3 is rated at 300 lumens compared to BenQ's 500 lumens, but surprisingly, the Capsule 3 seemed a lot brighter in my tests that I ran. It was definitely not only brighter, but sharper and has higher contrast output too. Overall, the laser tech in the Capsule 3 just looked a whole lot more contrasty. Color reproduction was more accurate based on the coupled color tests that I ran. And blacks were just a whole lot darker, which I sort of mentioned for laser projectors. And that's quite important because it's a known trend that TV shows and movies are becoming darker in their color tones that they use. Both of these projectors were super convenient. I was able to place this just about anywhere and the keystone correction on both these projectors were automatically focused on uh, just about any surface, but the Nebula Capsule 3 seemed to focus that much faster and more accurately. Plus the keystone and the rotation of the, of the screen was pretty easy to manage. It's been such a blast taking these two around any room and even the rooftop for a movie night without cables needed. Both of them last roughly 2.5 to 3 hours depending on screen size and brightness. There is no denying though that the Capsule 3 laser is superior in picture quality and the GS50 was slightly disappointing for the price. So moving on to the big hitters now, the Xgimi Horizon Pro and Nebula's Cosmos Laser 4K. There's a lot of good stuff to go over here. These two projectors are both seriously amazing and these are the ones you want to get if you're looking to set up an at-home cinematic experience while still getting that portability if you want to take it around to different rooms or even outside. Based on specs alone, the Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K is $300 dearer at $2,199 and is a full 10 pound heavier than the XGME, but we do get a brighter rating and arguably better speakers. I'll do a sound comparison test for you in a moment. It is worth mentioning that both projectors achieve 4K, not natively, but through pixel shifting. And don't worry though, it's tough to even see the difference between native 4K and pixel shifted 4K for the most part. Setting these up, immediately I saw a huge difference in picture quality between the GS50 and the Capsule 3. The 4K HDR10 supported resolution of both the LED XGME and Laser Cosmos is super crispy and the content looks like it's printed onto the walls even at huge sizes. And speaking of sizes, the Nebula Cosmos 4K runs up to a huge 150 inch in screen size and the Xtreme runs up to an absolute gigantic 300 inches, which I don't even have space for. But a heads up that Xtreme recommends a maximum of 200 inches before picture quality suffers. In my studio space and with most at home cinema setups, the 120 to 200 inch screen size is more than enough for a super immersive theater experience that should take up most of a wall or installed projector screen. Anything more, and I find that the picture quality suffers even at 4K, though with consumer priced 8K laser projectors being announced, this may all change soon. Either way, 4K is going to be more than enough for most people. The picture quality, especially in a dark room, is just stunning on both projectors. And if you have a PS5 or Xbox Series X to add to its HDMI ports, 4K gaming at a 200 inch size is a home experience that just doesn't get much better at this price range. Its image quality can be shockingly close to what you'd see on a quality display panel, and that's saying something. When it comes down to the comparison in picture quality though between these two projectors, the Cosmos 4K maxes out at 2400 lumens, which is bright enough for the majority of scenarios except direct sunlight. Its laser tech also handled contrast, brightness and color reproduction insanely well, arguably even better than the Xgimi. And at times watching the content, I forgot I was even watching it on a projector. Also don't expect to do any serious gaming on this or most projectors for that matter. The latency of 75 milliseconds on the Cosmos is just too slow for competitive play, but for casual gaming, 4K on a 150 inch projector is so satisfying. The Horizon Pro with its LED tech does boast a much faster 
35 millisecond. So input lag is much more tolerable, but if you're used to ultra fast gaming monitors, you will still notice the slower response time here. The Horizon Pro is a strong performer, especially with native 4K content. The sharpness is incredible, as is its response time. Although contrast and brightness trails behind Nebula's Cosmos 4K. You also get a load more ports of connectivity on the Horizon Pro. So if you're a gamer, this is still one of the best gaming projectors on the market. Moving on to the design, they're both really good looking, well-built portable projectors. The Cosmos 4K is arguably much more versatile and portable just because it has a sturdy handle, even though it's significantly heavier, the handle really does help. And the Horizon Pro doesn't get any sort of handle, which makes it more of a pain to carry around. I must give it to Xgemi for their amazingly sleek remote. It's one of the best remotes I've used outside of Apple's TV remote. It's encased in metal, so it's cold to the touch and feels premium while being incredibly minimal with only the necessary buttons required. It's great looking and sits nicely out in the lounge room. And like I mentioned, these two projectors both feature quality speakers. The Horizon Pro gets two 8 watt speakers tuned by Harman Kardon while the Cosmos 4K gets a full four speakers, two full range speakers at 10 watts, and two tweeters at five watts with Dolby Audio. And unsurprisingly, running a few audio tests, the Cosmos 4K sounds significantly better with its powerful integrated speakers alone. Take a listen to this comparison. With Megatron. With Megatron. But of course, if you're planning to get these projectors as part of a permanent home cinema setup, you want these hooked up to dedicated speakers, naturally. So even though all these projectors aren't considered very cheap, they're considered great value in my opinion, especially when you consider that the laser projectors have a lifespan of over 30,000 hours. And if I had to pick, I'd definitely take Nebula's Capsule 3 on trips outside. The BenQ GS50 was slightly disappointing for the price. And then you can't lose with either the Horizon Pro or Cosmos 4K for a home theater setup that would easily work in a lot of different rooms around your home. If you were to ask for my opinion though, and for my two cents, I would still pick laser projectors overall. They're superior in brightness, contrast, lifespan, and future proofing. And as they become more and more affordable, I can see many households moving to a laser projector setup, particularly in the dark. They are just absolutely stunning and they do hold their own against TV panels. And by the way, let me know in the comments what movie or games you'd watch on these projectors. And if you made it to the very end of this video, drop the code word comment laser beams and I'll give it a like. And if you enjoy my videos, please like the video and consider subscribing. In the meantime, I'll drop a video right here to a more in-depth review of the Nebula Capsule 3 and Cosmos 4K projectors. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.